because people like you are choosing, you're choosing. So you're choosing to continue in faith. You don't always continue in faith because you feel like it. You, you, you continue in faith because you choose to. If you have a big need tonight, you're in a perfect condition, perfect place to get a miracle. Yeah, but I, I want to be used in healing. Pray for yourself. <laughs> put your hands on you. When's the last time you put your hands on you? You want everybody else to let you put your hands on them. When's the last time you put your hands on you? Over that palp palpitation, that atrial fibre. Over the cancer, this, you know, or the polyps on your colon over here on the right side. Any kind of a relay is easier to steal. Why? You didn't get it. You didn't cultivate anything. You got healed through the gifts. Come on, say, through the gifts. Yes. In my case, I was healed through Catherine Coleman. I didn't pay a price to bring that atmosphere. I didn't worship. I didn't sing a song. I was taken there, and I was just told when she touches you, that cancer is going to go. And it did. And wouldn't you know it, I mean, three years later, I was taken there, taking my friends to meet her. That was nine. Thirteen, I was away from God. At thirteen, I walked away. You know, and I'm thinking, I was fifteen, I'm working at the beach on a boardwalk. Backslid. Sixteen, I'm further away. Seventeen away. Eighteen away. Nineteen, my brother gets killed. My younger brother. Catherine calls my house. She says, now you'll preach. I said, no, I won't. <laughs> she says, boy, you're still that way, aren't you? Meet me in Youngstown. No. My grandmother says, you will. I said, I won't. And you will. And I won't. I was in Youngstown that week. Come on, somebody. <laughs> Seems like there's been these strong women around me all my life. <laughs> but I'll tell you one thing, I, I trust him to move in that meeting. And, and I've seen too much. I'm fully persuaded that on any given moment, on any given day, that guy walked out of that wheelchair, he couldn't walk. We saw a lady in Orlando two weeks ago, completely blind. They brought her in and she just couldn't see anything and all of a sudden she's touching my nose and seeing my hand. And it happens. That's what miracles are. They're not supposed to happen. But they do. They do. I mean, when Catherine prayed for me, four rows of people fell with me. Four rows. I had brain cancer, lung cancer. I was needed to metastasize. It was bad. I shouldn't even got in the church. There was 2,000 people in the church and we were out on 6th Avenue. There was another 1,000 people outside. They couldn't people get people in the church. But on the side of this church in Pittsburgh, there's a red door. It's a side door. I tell people I came in through the side door. <laughs> This guy came out as an usher and he saw my grandmother way out there in the crowd. And he just pointed to my grandmother and he said, You. And my grandmother's taking me through this crowd of people. I'm passing people up that were probably just as bad as me. But for some reason on that day, God pointed to me and I said, Yes. That God commanded the widow to feed Elijah. It was at First Kings 17 when he commanded this widow. He said, I command you, I'm sending a prophet, and you feed him. And when he came and he needed food, she said, Ah, yeah. no, no, I have enough for my son and me only. So even though God commanded her, it just shows you, you don't always listen to what God says. I'm going to tell you this. I mean, God is speaking to all of us. We're just not listening. If anything can come out of this tonight for you to just listen for you, I, I don't want to get top heavy sharing some of my experiences, but sometimes, you know, that's mentorship. Yep. Thank you. Sometimes that's the way to get awakened to the potential that he doesn't love me any more than he loves you. One lady says, well, that's your gift. I said, excuse me. I said, I cultivated this. I worked hard. I turned that off to turn him on. How do you tune bad stuff out? By tuning into good stuff. How did Jesus avoid all those people that were condemning the woman in adultery? He tuned in to the Father. Tuned out the crowd. 
you tune out by tuning in. And then you get on a frequency that just takes you somewhere it's unbelievable. So what's going on here? What brings you here tonight? Um, I want my husband to be healed. Healed of what? Diabetes. Type 2, type 1? Type 1. So how many times a day do you use the needle? I'm on a pump. You on a pump. It's, put, it's inside of you. Yeah, yeah. So do you have your little chart, your little tester with you? Mm -hmm. So what's your numbers? The numbers on a normal day? Uh, yeah. All over the place. It's all over the place. It can be all over the place. What was it when you came in here tonight? Uh, I think it was like 130. Well, that's pretty good, 130. When you came in here tonight, it was 130? Yeah. That's on the pump. That's what the pump does. It regulates it. Mm -hmm. So you never have a bad day. What's the bad day on the pump? Uh, I still have some high values. Mm -hmm. some so you're not happy with the pump. You don't want the pump. I don't want him to have that. Mm -hmm. Maybe I want him to be free so we can, um, so you can what? not deal with it. Mm -hmm. Minister, there's too many lows and mm -hmm. things that throw them off and mm -hmm. it's hard. Mm -hmm. Just want him to have that oh, Put your hands testimony. Up. Come, hold about the Holy, that part of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Give God a shout! Come on! Come on, give God a shout in this place! Bring up! Hey! Now, now, hey, listen to me. That's, that's great what happened here, but see, now it shifts from me to, to them and how they handle this going out the door. Like them leaving the parking lot tonight, man, we got it. It can't be maybe, I think, kind of, I hope. Thank you. No, 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 hope's over. They got it. They got it. Come on, say, I receive. What did Jesus say? Believe that you have. That's a major trigger word, faith word. I receive. You've got to quit leaving meetings without putting that stamp on it. The devil's waiting to see if you believe that. He knows what I believe. This here, he's not shocked at. But for this couple to be driving home tonight, encouraging each other, honey, do you hear that? Did you, my God, we got it. And you begin to plan into that. And you begin to shout it and get convicted of it. Man, it'll, it'll, uh, it'll tonight will turn into tomorrow quickly. Your eggs will be sunny side up tomorrow morning. Come on, say amen. amen. Then the power hit them. Yes. Jesus. See, do you believe in this or you don't? Yeah, but I've been slain. It's not slain. It's not how you fall. It's how you come up. Praise you, Lord. I mean, this lady has enough faith for the whole place right here. This woman, this, this wife right here. Praise Jesus. He's healing something in your digestive tract. Something in your digestive tract. What's her name? Do you know her name? Barbara. Barbara. He's healing something in your digestive tract. There's been an issue there. Thank you, Lord God. Some form of indigestion. Some form of... I don't know what... I don't want to say it, but right in that area, he's healing that in you tonight. Thank you, Jesus. And he's breaking all the fear over you. All the fear. There's no death. Quit thinking about death. Quit thinking about him dying. There's never been no death coming here anytime soon. You're the end time people. Coming your way. Come on, somebody give God a shout. I'll tell you what. Come on, praise him tonight. Praise him tonight. Praise him tonight. Somebody's got to do a little bit of praising in here. It's a little too quiet. Come on, we got to praise. Wait, it's over. You're never going to be the same. Come on, say, if a disease... Come on, say, if every disease begins with a symptom, then a miracle is the beginning with a missing symptom. 
Do you think what I hear what I just said? Yes. yes. I, I was in a meeting and God spoke that. Because a lot of people don't they don't place a big deal on, well, I don't have any more pain. That's a big deal. I mean, to not have any more pain in your arm, that means the, the bursitis is gone, the osteoporosis, the osteoporosis is gone. But you don't go that far. You just go, wow, that's a well, and then they say, Well, it's gone for right now. When a symptom leaves you, do you understand how big that is? You shouldn't be able to come into a meeting and the rhythm of a disease be broke. There's a rhythm to every illness. There's a rhythm. Praise you. What's your husband's... Dan. Is he okay? I think so. <laughs> I've been praying for this for many years. And, um, Praise you, Jesus. He said prophetic words mm -hmm. that he would manifest. Praise the you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. I just have been fasting. Thank you. You're a good wife. Well, how long have you been married to this guy? 42 years. 42 years. Praise you. Thank you. Wow. Look at this. He can hardly get up. <laughs> See, the, the anointing is measured in weights. That's how you measure the anointing in weights. So whenever you can jump and bounce back up, you've got to be careful just falling to get up. You don't fall just to get up. God wants to take you down and do something. This has him down here pretty, pretty good. That's a really good sign. I'm really glad to see that. I really believe... What? I believe this was going to happen. I just felt the Holy Spirit tell me. Well, there's nobody else I called out yet. I mean, you're the only people I called out. That's right. <laughs> Hallelujah. Jesus. I want him to check his numbers, though. He has a... They don't go real high. But He's got that pump in him. That's good. But so when does he turn, ever turn the pump off? Never. He never turns the pump off. Never. How are you going to know? How are you going to know? I'll we'll take it off tonight. You're going to take it off tonight? Yeah, take it off. Uh -huh. Praise me. <laughs> you want it off? Yeah. Where is it? Here, on the other side. She's disrobing him at the altar. Here. <laughs> I'm not allowed to tell you what to do in, in those areas. <laughs> Dude, what's she, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, Lord. It's off. It's off. I'm watching him, but I'm feeling you out here because, come on, your hands up. It's all over the place here. I know we're closing. I know we're not going into a healing meeting. I say I know, and I really don't know, but I'm saying, I'm saying that because I know it's late. I know it's awful late here. This mighty touch. This mighty, mighty touch. Mighty touch. We give God such praise here. That was so powerful, I felt it come back on me. Just felt it go through my body. Thank you. Mm. What's so funny? I'm just happy. You're happy? I Well, you're from Kalamazoo. People from Kalamazoo. You're a different breed of people. I just want... This presence will be on you all night. This presence will be on you all night. That was a great one, Jean. What's going on here tonight? Diabetes. Diabetes. My breasts. Your breasts. What's wrong with your breasts? Breast. What's wrong? Maybe cancer. What do you mean? Is there a lump there? Yes, and it's deteriorating. Can you feel the lump? Oh, yeah. Where? The mass right here. All right, where? It's okay. Here. Where? <laughs>
to praise him. That's the only thing I know that, that I can say for a surety tonight that will cause the anointing to linger. Yeah. Praise you. Because if you're ungrateful after he touches you, praise. Whew, yeah. praise. that grieves him. Praise. There's 8 billion people in the world. He's landing in Lansing, Michigan tonight. Amen. He's touching down with his little feet. The dove couldn't find nowhere to rest his feet. He's resting here. He's going to be here all night tonight in this room. I believe that when God steps into a place and He's welcome, He wants to put His name there. There's something about to happen across this land. Portals are going to show up. Amen. Portals. I don't know if we'll have a national revival, but I believe we'll have regional revival. Yes. Where God's going to find a hungry leader who's not afraid of this. He's going to open the doors. And the harvest of people coming in is going to be un unmatched. Yes. Unmatched. And the ministries that will be born. Hmm. Who's with this woman? Who's with her? You guys are? Who is that to you? That's my mother. That's your mother. What do you think of this? God's working. God's working. Jesus is working. Where do you go to church? Straight Gate International Church. What's the name of it? Straight Gate. Church. Straight Gate International. In Detroit. In Detroit. How'd you hear about this meeting here in Lansing? Um, a friend of ours, she sends me updates about uh, Gilead. Okay, cool. She told us she were coming. And I, I never, I don't think I ever heard of you. Before. That's that's because I'm a hardly known. Yeah, I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> but I did watch your Sarah Roth interview the other night. You watched who? Your, your, oh, our interview with Sid Roth. Yeah. I like Sid. What's your mother's name? Darlene. Darlene. <laughs> There'll be no surgery. All the days of her life, there'll not be a knife toucher. Breaks the yoke. <laughs> Say it, steady pressure. Steady pressure. Breaks the yoke. Breaks the yoke. There's a lot of yokes that won't break just because you're in a great meeting or you went to a great seminar mm -hmm. or you fell into the power or you got a prophetic word. <laughs> when I was up at the North Pole, we had Cree Indians. We had over a thousand Cree Indians for four days, every night, 60 below zero. And when you walked outside the building, I mean, the steam that would come out of the room, but for my, as long as you could see was snowmobiles. And I thought, what's, who would have a dealership up here? <laughs> I was thinking, who has a dealership up here? And the pastor said to me, that's not dealership, that's the people that were sitting in your service tonight. They came across the tundra to hear you wow. on snowmobiles. Wow. I thought, oh Lord. And then he said, come here, I'll take you. And he took me on back and there were the green lights, the green lights over heaven, all the, the swirl of purple and, and green. He said, do you ever see these done in Florida? Ah, uh, not recently, not recently. <laughs> he said, you're way up here. And these people have no way to get to church in 60 below zero weather. Look at your neighbor and say, boy, I got it easy. Come on, tell your neighbor, right? There goes that excuse. The guy in Puerto Rico, he's sitting on the front row with the cane. I walked down and I said, hey, what's going on here? So we had, I don't know how many, a lot of people. I said, what's going on here, sir? He said, well, I'm here to get a miracle. I said, what kind of miracle do you need? He said, I can't walk without this cane. I'm tired of this cane. And I want to get rid of the cane. I said, okay. I said, sir, how old are you? He said, I'm 99. <laughs> I said 99 and I said I made a mistake. See you're in the spirit you can get in the flesh this easy. That's right. Don't take, don't take much to slide off the road. I said you're 99 shouldn't you want to go to heaven? Oh that really did it. He said I don't want I'll go there when I'm dead. When I want my life I want to get healed. <laughs> Slap me on both sides of my cheek. Oh my, I, his guy was snappy. And I said, okay. I said, I'm people were laughing like that. Like, yeah. I said, okay, sure, that's it. And I said, stand up. And he's standing like that. I said, you're 99. He said, I told you I'm 99. You're going to pray for me or not? 
<laughs> so I touched him and he went to Cain and went. He got up, he ran around the room and then he was so excited. So, so he said, I'll tell you, preacher, I mean, you need help too, preacher. I'm, I'm going to be praying for you. <laughs> so I went back the next year. Here he is, a hundred. And he had a box of hankies for me. He said, Preacher, I've been thinking about you all year. And I just think you ought to anoint these hankies and start handing these hankies out. And I just said, I'm just like shocked by this guy. He's healed, he's strong, he's confident. So I touched him, I took the hankies. I went back the next year, he's 101. He's got another box of hankies. And I thought, well, am I missing something here, Lord? What am I missing here? And he touched him, he goes down again, he goes back up. I'm thinking, okay, we go back the next year, he's 102. Here he is, front row. Preacher, how you doing, preacher? I've been waiting for you, preacher. I got some hankies for you, preacher. He said, are you working with these hankies, preacher? And I really wasn't. And I'm thinking, why is he asking me this? He said, because I'm talking through him. I talk through people to you. You know? And I said, uh, I said, well, you know what? I said, these hankies are powerful. I didn't ask if they're powerful. Are you using these hankies? I'm bringing you. 102, 103. And he was gone. He's gone. And I have to say that when I went back, his presence was severely missed. It was just not an empty chair. It was like, wow, that presence that he carried. Mm -hmm. He defied death. He made me realize uh, from that meeting on, hey, who cares how old you are? Hi, I'm here in Mount Hope. I'm here at the Gilead Healing Center in Lansing, Michigan, an extension of the Mount Hope Church. And I'm here to talk to this girl here who had a miracle in one of our crusades 12 years ago. Yes, Pastor Tell, really tell me that story. 12 years ago in October, so here we are back in October. Oh, wow. Previous to that meeting, um, I had emergency surgery where I had half of all my female organs removed. And I was. Whoa, 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 whoa. You had half? That's ovaries? What is that? That's. Tube, ovaries. Mm -hmm. Yes. So told that it would be near impossible to, to have, have a child. children. Mm -hmm. Yes. So this was. 12 years ago. I got that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. And then fast forward several months later, and it was a Sunday night, I had a dream of a man with blonde hair. There you go. Shining, <laughs> shining blonde hair and tan skin and a white suit. And he was on a stage, and I was next to him, and then my face was on the screen. So I thought, what is this? This or, was in a dream. This was on See, a dream. See, don't forget that part of this. This was in a dream. God was what? Say, preparing her. Preparing her. Say, God will prepare me. God will prepare me. As he prepared her. As he prepared her. To get my miracle too. To get my miracle. Yes. Sunday night, astonishing dream. Next day on a Monday, and I the thing was I didn't know who this person was in the dream. Just right. very distinct. Everything that I saw about you was so distinct. So when I caught got the call the next day, friend asked me to come to this healing service at Mount Hope Church. I said, yes, I'll be there. Who is it? So I told my husband. She's really getting good at this, I'll tell you. I said, we have to be there. So we were and just walking. I'd never been to a healing service before. Believed in healing, you know, believed that I would have a, a child, but the Lord was bringing it to manifestation that night. The atmosphere, you could just taste it. There was such a atmosphere in that place and it was towards the end of the service um, altar was filled with hundreds of people and I just looked at my husband I'm like how are we going to get up there and an usher saw us and came through the crowd walked through the crowd grabbed my hand and brought me all the way up to the stage and then we're like this you were right before me with the microphone and you said ma'am what happened to you? And then there I was up on the big screen talking. Just in your like dream, in like dream. in your dream. Yes, and I gave my testimony. And next thing, I was on the floor. I remember just seeing lights. And wow. the whole night, just a heat, a heat on me. And I knew right then, I said, 
the Lord touched me. The Lord touched me. And that was in October, 12 years ago, Pastor Billy. And February 14th, Valentine's Day, I took a pregnancy test and I was pregnant. I, yes. You can do a little bit better than that, I'll tell you that. Come on. Two daughters. Two daughters. That was the first one. She so since then, you, so then you had another child. Correct. Two years later. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow. Th you know, thank yeah, and they you. They flow in the healing. I, they, they lay hands on people and they are healed. And just miracles, Pastor Bill. And we have a page for you in Victoria's scrapbook of you pictures and people will often ask me like who is this man and I get to tell the testimony over yeah. and over yeah. Is your husband he, is he, he's here? Oh, come here. Gosh, this is the big guy here. I can tell he's a looks like a linebacker back here. Yes. So he's a part of this, right? Yes. Big part of this. <laughs> Voila, voila. And her name is Victoria. Victoria. What do you think? What's your husband's name? Mark. Mark, what do you think about all this? Hey, only God could do that. Yeah. You know, I, I knew where my wife's heart was at, mm -hmm. uh, what we were believing in. But, you know, like you said earlier, you're hearing from doctors, mm -hmm. you know, you're getting that report. But, no one believe in God. Mm -hmm. and you know what he can do. And yeah. that time mm -hmm. comes. Mm -hmm. Be ready. And mm -hmm. you know stand here in front of stand here in front of me, both of you. Give me this mic quickly. I need a worker up here quickly. <laughs> Never, ever, ever, all the days of your life, should the Lord tarry. That's the key here. Should the Lord tarry. Never even think about money for college, for education. Yes. For any other kinds of training schools. God's always going to have more than enough money for every one of your children to be educated. Mm. Even extra, even extra classes, even after schooling. By the time they enter into their field, it's going to cost hundreds of thousands of dollars. Why? Because their IQ is off the chart. Because of who they are, is these kids are destined for greatness. They are problem solvers for the world's issues. That's who they are. They are problem solvers for the world's issues by the Holy Ghost. Come on, somebody give God a shout. Come on. He'll pardon you. Come on, it is no secret. Come on, what God can do. Just walk, walk, walk. It is no secret. What? It's what? That's the first time I walked. This is the first time I walked. First time she's walked. Praise God. How's your breathing? How do you feel in here? Do you feel good? See, let me tell you this. Why do we do this? Because there's a rhythm to every disease, a rhythm to every problem. The idea of a miracle is to break the rhythm. Once you break the rhythm, the devil says, I'm going home. Come on, somebody. Amen. Once you get a little bit of faith in there and says, look, I'm walking across this day. Look, she don't even want nothing to do with me. <laughs> I tell the Lord I feel used all the time. I did walk across the stage. You what? You what? I did walk across. You did. Stage. I can walk now. Now I can try that at home. I mean, I can try that down the hall. Wow. wow. Come on, with arms wide open. Come on, heroes. It is no secret.
more now. Time more. <laughs> What? 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 It's what? The first time I walk by myself. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you, Jesus. Right? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Now I'm gonna be walking by myself all the time. What's that now? I'm gonna be walking by myself. Yes, Lord. All the time. Amen. Now she's talking faith. How you feel? Feel okay? I feel great. Great. Hallelujah. He'll pardon you. It is no sin. Come on, what God? What God can do? You're getting stronger. <laughs> Hallelujah. Who brought her? Somebody bring her? You did. You did. What do you think of this? Does this surprise you? Big time. Hallelujah. Surprise my grandsons. Where's your grandson at? Both of them. Where? What do you think of that? What do you think of grandma? Come on up here, Come on up here. They've been helping me all the time. Yeah. What do you guys think of this? It's just like before she got COVID, it's even better. <laughs> Lord, you deserve the glory and the honor tonight, amen. You deserve the
up all over the place. Come on, let's, let's take a moment here. Let's just take a moment. Let's just ask Him to touch us tonight. Let's ask Him to touch us tonight. He's here. The Holy Spirit's here in this place. To do amazing, amazing things. Herniated discs are being healed right now. Disc herniation in your back. If you're here with a herniated disc of any kind, come up to me quickly. Come right now. Don't wait. Don't wait. Herniated disc. I'm waiting for you. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for you. In thy strength and thy power Come in thine own special way Come on, everybody sing it. Come, Holy Spirit I need Come Holy Spirit Come I Come in thy strength In thy strength And thy Come in thine own special way How bad is this sir? I mean bad I, I, I kind of stayed held off on a surgery for you the, did what now I held off on a surgery you held off on surgery yeah for the to upper, be for the upper neck okay portion. yeah yeah so I've been doing some uh, physical therapy yeah and where's it hurt now I, uh, I can't see that it, basically a nerve is pinched in my neck and okay. causing numbness in my arm yeah right arm so it's it's intermittent if I put my head down like this then it then this kind of this arm kind of goes numb okay is it yeah. numb now no. 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 It's not uh -huh. numb now. <laughs> I don't know why you're not excited. I can't figure it out. Somebody. I need somebody. I need somebody. I need somebody. I need, I need somebody before this night's over to not just sit there like seals at SeaWorld. And arr, 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 arr. I need somebody to get up and run around the room, run down the hallway, because we want something to break wide open here. There could be miracle services every month right here. I heard somebody say yes. 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 He was surprised himself it's not there. <laughs> you better check what's wrong with you because it may not be wrong with you. Amen. The moment sitting out here, whatever, if I, you had a lump on your breast, check. The moment you sense something different, I want to know about it. Yeah. The moment you're seeing better, I want to know about it. Amen. Yeah, but I didn't get prayer yet. You don't need prayer, you need the Holy Spirit. Yeah. It's not me, it's Him. Come on, didn't we just sing, Come Holy Spirit, I need you. And come Holy Spirit, I... I love this. Come in thy strength. Come in thy strength. And I... Come in thine own special way. Come in thine... How do you sing that and then not check for that calcium deposit on your elbow? How do, how do you do that? We had a guy just in Sarasota just a month ago. He was a cowboy, a real cowboy. And he rode Broncos and his arm was froze. He couldn't raise his arm because he fell off a horse, dislodged, broke some bones. And he came in and he was just real nonchalant about it. Rough guy, rough, rough looking guy. And he said, yeah, I'm here for prayer. He said, I got my arm, can't lift up and that. And he just, he was just not really expecting much. I said, well, can't you, what can't you do? He said, I can't take it above my head. I said, well, try and take it above your head. He said, I can't do it. <laughs> you know, I said, well, what was that? And he said, how the blank did that happen? <laughs> it wasn't heaven he was talking about. And I, he said, he said, that was so easy. I said, well, it, it was easy because the anointing is here. Yeah. See, people don't get it. It's not a language or a lifestyle they practice, so they don't understand that we're, we're in the presence of another spirit at this moment. 
who brought you here to produce change. But the moment something's called out, I'm not here to contend and fight you. You don't answer, I'm going to move on. But it's sometimes in the seconds that you're just struggling whether, you know, someone knows you in the church. So what? Don't give a holy hoot. Who cares? They probably don't like you anyhow. Come on, say amen. I don't mean that. They're probably praying for you. <laughs> Sir, that's amazing. Isn't that amazing? It's amazing. Huh? It's amazing. Yeah. yeah. Type 2 diabetes. And Just I, hold yeah. on. Let's okay. come back to the I'm, miracle here. So how oh, long have you had yeah. that? How long have you had that? He's after another one already. Look at that. Hey, that works. Give me this. How long have you had that? Uh, over a year. Over a year. Yeah, over a year. Yeah. Wow. Was a neurosurgeon early this year. And uh, I, he, uh, you know, pointed me doing some physical therapy. He says, we'll do it. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, I, yeah. I wanted my summer. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. Yeah. See, remember, after the Red Sea opened, remember the Red Sea, Miriam takes out the timbrel. She celebrates. They sang a song, Horse and a Rider. It's one of two songs we guaranteed sing in heaven, according to the Revelation. The Song of Moses and the Song of the Lamb. It's recorded in the book of Revelation. We know those two songs for sure. They celebrated the victory. It's the last time they did it. Quail fell from heaven, they never gave thanks. Manna fell, they never gave thanks. Water came out of a rock, they never gave thanks. They died. They died in the wilderness. When you begin to get entitlement and you think it's just going to work every time on automatic, that's whenever you begin to run into entitlement issues. God wants you to need Him on a regular basis. You never outgrow needing Him. Yeah. Here or there. Here or on the new earth. There's no independence of the one that gets us there. He is your Savior now. He's your Savior then. All through eternity, He's, he's still the Lamb with the holes in His wrists. It never goes away. As a reminder of how we got there. It's very, very important that you really, really thank Him. I can't think of anything more that causes the presence to linger around you or around your home than thanking Him for what He's about to do here tonight. This is powerful right here. This guy's this is amazing. I never touched a guy yet. I'm about to, but I never touched him. Praise God. This morning we had a whole section fall under the power and nobody touched them. Hallelujah. Where, you go to church here, sir? Yes. Where do you go? Yes. Mount Hope. Mount Hope. Glad you're here tonight. Yes. Glad you're here. Me too. Yeah, me and you, too. I guess you said already you have type 2 diabetes. That's correct. Like you, yeah. you just said that. How long you had yeah. that? Uh, about seven years. Mm -hmm. And so how would you know that's gone? Probably uh, a, 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 A1C numbers. Do you have Do you have yeah. a thing to test you with tonight, David? Not, not tonight. Not, yeah. tonight. not you, tonight. Bring your Whatever test kit when you come to a meeting like this. Bring yeah. your test kit. I have one. By that mighty power. Oh, Lord Jesus. Come on, somebody give God a shout! Somebody give God a shout! See, with the miracle that he just got with the arm and all that numbness, right? Yeah. His spirit was wide open. Yeah. Yeah. So this power is moving through. I would not be a bit, I'd be disappointed if he wasn't healed of that be this. Yeah. But his mouth has got to get in on it. Amen. Yeah. So you have to affirm you. Me affirming you is one thing. You got to affirm you. Yeah. You can't drive home thinking, well, Billy Burke said I'm healed. No, no, no. You gotta drive thinking, man, I'm healed. I'm healed. I signed it. I got it. My faith is in this. You know, we say I haven't got no skin in this game. I don't have no dog in this fight. Because we don't we can't handle the fact that we were part of the breakdown. You gotta have your faith in the fight. Jesus is showing up here in your fight with you tonight. Amen. Come on, thank him tonight. Come on, thank him. Hey, touch me. Come on, oh. Hey. And all the joy. The joy. That. Come on, something happened. Something happened. Now I know. Hey.
And since I met my blessed Savior, and since He cleansed and made me. Wait, the power's still on him. Look at this. Look at the power still on him. Ah, he's out on his feet. Much. To let it go, sir. Just let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let him go. Singing, he touched me. Come on, everybody, sing it. He touched me. Look at this. Look at this. And that something amazing has happened. Now I know. He can't get back to his seat, I'm telling you. There's power in here tonight. It's here for you. He yielded. He yielded. He wants it. God's moving through his body. He's healing the prostrate area as well. Yeah, he got that. His, his numbers are coming down. His PSA numbers are dropping. There will always be leftover with Jesus. Twelve baskets left. Always, God's ever going. He's going to do more than what you ask Him to. Amazing. Amazing. Right out of the gate tonight. Let him try and go back. Stay with him. Stay close to him, though. Stay close to him. Point him in the right direction. <laughs> holy, holy, holy. Look at this. Holy, holy. 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 Come on, Lord God. What kind of cancer, ma'am? Colon. I had the start of colon, but then it went across stage four across my stomach. The power's on you, right? Because God's healing me, and I want you to finish. Get that woman up here to me right away. Get her up here. Pick her up if you have to, but get her up here. Just hoist her over the people here. You get her up here. Get her up here quickly. You got all the faith in. Look at you. Okay. All right. I, I, that's right. That's right. So you're fighting cancer. Where in the? I take that cane from her. She's trying to give it to you. My God, get take the cane. I know. Uh, did you ask me where it was at? Oh yeah, I asked you where it. It started with a little spot in my colon. Mm-hmm. And then it went around my stomach here, and I started a little pain here. Mm-hmm. And. All of a sudden, when I went to the doctor to find out what that little pain Get your coat off. Take your coat off. I've lost probably 65, 70 pounds. And this, I've been fighting it for a year and a half, so I know God's got a hold of me. Amen. I'm 90 years old. 90 years old. You did what? Just quit working three months ago. <laughs> I want her on my team, I'll tell you that right now. Ninety years old, fighting to live. Fighting to have good health. God's kind of girl. God's girl. Yes. I'm a blessing. Yeah. 
God's made. So were you, you hurting somewhere tonight? My back is hurting me terrible. How long has it been hurting there? Well, every time I go to church, it seems like when my back starts hurting. There. I think the devil wants me to hurt. Yeah. And I'm fighting it. Is it hurting now? Yes. Check it. Huh? Check it. No. It's not Okay, hold on, hold on, Granny, hold on. And I'm going to too. Hold on, see, see, when she gets that, and then you have to learn to connect the dots. Come on, say, no pain. No pain. No cancer. No cancer. Woohoo! See, <laughs> you, you got to do that. I can say no pain, I believe there's no cancer. Yeah. I have to use the word I legally. I go along, there's no cancer. Yeah. But I just keep going, have Somebody have a little faith with me? Because I've got all the faith in the world. Hallelujah. She needed a partner in faith. Yeah. Yeah. I've got all the faith in the world. I feel. And I'll be going to be in checked in a couple of weeks. Where, where do you go to church? I Don't make one up. So much Don't make fun. one up. <laughs> I've been going to the restore when I'm not in pain. Down in Ionia on Main Street. And tomorrow we're going over to Shiloh. My daughter and my niece is with me. Wow. And they're going to go too. Mm -hmm. Which they go to church all the time anyway. Oh, I feel it. I feel I it. Get ready. All the power. All the power. Nothing replaces the cross. Somebody say nothing replaces the cross. Bring her to me. Or who's who's here? You're here. What's going on here? Uh, chronic back pain for 16 years after coming off of a horse, and I they wanted to. Uh, I can't even think of the word. Fuse four of my discs at 21 years old. And I said no, so I'm in constant pain. And How many years ago? 16. 16. Where do you hurt the most? My lower back. Like right now, where do you hurt? <laughs> tell you what this is amazing no pain and how long 16 years oh, how great thou every voice I'm going to talk to the girl on the horse. Come here. What's your name, sweetheart? Uh, Katie. Katie from where? Uh, Lansing. And what church? Do you have a church? Uh, wherever she takes me. It's been, it's been a long time since I've gone to church. My mom died and I was angry and mm -hmm. 
God. She's getting me back into it. And mm -hmm. She always joked that she would burn in church. <laughs> Say that again. She always joked that she's going to burn up in flames in church. <laughs> And so she's the only person I go to church with and reached out and said that she thought that maybe Come on. my back pain would yeah. just thought me and yeah. here we are. Come on! Come on! Amazing. A friend, a friend yeah. brought her. That's a friend. God huh? told me that. He told you. God told me that she has to come here because he said he's gonna heal her. That's why I brought her here. Tumors. Tumors where? On her chest. Do you have one now? I have two. You can feel them. Mm. Go ahead and feel it. <laughs> to God be the glory, come on, Bruce. Be the glory. Come on, everybody, to God. the thing he has come on with his blood he has and the power to God be for the things You need, you need to not leave this room tonight. This is too, too raw, too real. Right. You're seeing one after the other. After. If we quit right now, we win. <laughs> if we shut down right now, it's only 5 till 9. I've never been out of a meeting in my life at 5 till 9. <laughs> I would ruin my whole reputation at 5 till 9. But I'm just saying, if we did... It's more than enough. Yeah. How much more do you need to give your life to this Jesus tonight? To rededicate. To really get serious with God's destiny for you. It's crazy out there in that culture. There's no protection. There's no safety. There's no sacredness. Nothing is sacred. And you need to really... Who's there for you? Yeah. Who's your shield? Jesus. Who's your protector? Jesus. No, I, I know you're going to say that because you're here. <laughs> I just came from New York City in Queens. I mean, it was dangerous getting from our hotel to the, to the auditorium. Just dangerous. I said to our driver, I said, would you walk down this street tonight? He said, I probably could be, so I wouldn't advise you to. <laughs> I said, why? He said, you probably wouldn't make it halfway down there without at least being robbed. You see the news. You see what's going on. You are not to live in fear. The answer is not a gun. I mean, if you need a gun to feel extra protected, that's fine. I'm not against guns. But wouldn't it be great for your faith to grow so much that you say nothing by any means is going to harm me? Yeah. Or you wouldn't be a burden to your family with worry and fear. Fear talk. And whatever's feeding your fear, you need to turn it off. Yeah. You shouldn't be watching that news channel anyhow. Yeah. If you want to just fill your life with bad news, then 
that will neutralize everything you're seeing here tonight. You want to feed what's happening here. You got some momentum when you when you leave here tonight, you're gonna to think you can take over the world. Amen. We still have some miracles to go. But right now God's healing. Did those lumps just they're gone, the lumps? I don't feel them. You don't feel them. That's a hint that they're gone. <laughs> what a poor hand clap. I said they're gone. What's the matter here? You should be leaving meetings like this better than any movie you've ever seen. Better than any sports event you've ever gone to. Better than any parade you've ever been to. Better than Disney World itself. You've got to act like, man, I've just been somewhere that's valuable to your future. Because if God does it for her, He'll do it for you. But she had to come and get humble. She had to say, hey, I've been away and, and my girlfriend brought me in. How long have you had that injury? How long have you had that? 16 years. 15 years. Put your hands on both of you. Just both of you. Just do this together tonight. Do this for your friend. Come on, say, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Tonight. tonight. I'm coming back to you. I'm coming back to you. I'm sorry. Sorry. I've been away. I've been away. But I'm done being away. Heal me completely. Heal me. And use my story. And use my story. To advance the kingdom. I will be your girl. I will be your girl. What's so funny about that? Come on, somebody give God a big shout. Come on. Come on. Ten years ago. Ten years ago. September of 2012. Over in the main church? Yep. And I also was living in a wheelchair at the time. What? Because I, my spine had collapsed. What? And within two months, all of my discs grew back, and so did my ovaries. Your discs grew back. Come on, somebody help me tonight. The same thing I'm hearing. Yeah. Yeah. The only thing I don't like about these kind of services is it's hard to go to sleep at night. Yeah. You look at the ceiling and say, Did I just see all that? <laughs> here comes the praise team right here. <laughs> I believe. So, so your 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 spine disintegrated or what? My the discs in my spine were disintegrating and then they like flake apart and my spine was collapsing. Do you have a zoom lens on that? <laughs> There's a zoom on that, sir. You're getting you're getting it close. Yes. I want to put this. I want to show this to the whole world. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's good. So you, your disc disintegrated, or yeah, they were slowly collapsing one by one by one. So you're in a wheelchair, uh -huh. so you can't walk. Not very well. Not under my own weight. I had to hold myself up if I wanted to stand and, up. And what about the ovaries? One had died, and the other one just stopped working. So I went through an early menopause for about ten years. Oh. And they said you're never going to get. Oh my God! Yeah, it's all over. Oh my God! How oh much you went through menopause for ten years? <laughs> and then God decided to give her. This is Sarah. <laughs> And you go to church here? Yeah, my home. Not so I'm telling a story about Toronto and there's a lady right here. You can't keep track of all the people and you're in this for as long as I've been at Lynn and here's another one right here. And she's right here in your hometown, right among the grassroots. Yeah. Somebody say, I guess I gotta believe. Tell us, I guess I gotta believe. I guess show me where to sign. <laughs> I guess I gotta give in. Yeah, you do. You should. That you have a church that believes in this. Amen. 
that's right off the bat, that's a, a head start. So this has changed your life. So you had a baby. Yeah. Who, this seven. your husband? No. Who's, no, he's a friend I met tonight, actually. He's a friend you met tonight, yeah. meaning for? Just well, walking in. Okay, so, so you had a baby. Yes. And how's the baby? Really good. He's seven. We go rock climbing together. You go rock what? We, we climb rocks together. Does he know he's a miracle? Or? Yes and no. I don't think the seven-year-old can quite grasp <laughs> everything of how bad it was. I was. So this guy's a new friend? Right. No. Yeah, I don't know him. <laughs> Boy, I'll tell you what. This is getting fuzzy up here. I'll tell you that right now. You what? I got married to God. You got married to God. Men let me down. He doesn't. Men left you down. But he doesn't. Wow. Men left you down. Hold this, Pastor. Hold. Oh dear. <laughs> I know what this is. <laughs> you know, it, it's, it's true. People do. And even the people that say I do let you down. Because we can't, you can't meet somebody's needs. Nobody can. There's no man that can meet all of a woman's needs. There's no woman that can meet all of a man's needs. That's why you need what the Ecclesiastes is called the tricord. You can't escape the Lord because there comes a time whenever things change in the marriage. And you need to know that you have a third person that's there. And you, and you take the pressure off the other person to not meet all of your needs because now you have Jesus that picks up the slack. Yes. You take the pressure off of her meeting your needs and you meeting her needs. And boy, when he's in the middle there, he really becomes that bridge. That's how it's supposed to work. Yeah. Amen. You'll marry again. I know. Soon. Oh. <laughs> Soon. Soon. This is no accident tonight, I'll tell you that much. Right now, I will tell you the truth tonight. That's no accident. There's other, others of you in here tonight, too, that have had a bad experience. You know, and, and be careful of those secret vows you make. Yes. I'll never, I'll never, no way, I'll never, I'll never. Then you bind your soul, the Bible says. When you make a, when you make a vow, you bind your soul. And then the right people come and you miss them. Mm -hmm. All right. So you want to unbreak, you know, break that vow. Say, I'm sorry, Lord, break the, You can get out of that vow, but you got to really, what? Renounce the hidden things of dishonesty. That's what Paul said. I'll never let another man touch me. I'll never go into another church again. I'll never let another evangelist touch me. You know, and I mean, you got to really be careful with those things because well, no one knows that I'm not hurting anybody. You're hurting you, and you're hurting your connection, and you're hurting all that has, God has available to you. All right. yeah. And we're supposed to get a little wiser as we get in, stay in this journey. Yeah. Break those secret vows. Break them. Get out of them. Because really, you don't even know what, you're, what you need the most. God says something to Adam in the garden, and he was perfect. Adam was perfect. He said, nah, you're too perfect. It's not good that you're somebody that perfect is alone. So I'm going to give you somebody else perfect to live with. <laughs> the perfect super couple. Wow. And then they found out that they weren't so super. They tried to cover themselves with fig leaves. Man-made fig leaves. They tried to make their own clothes. And God ripped those clothes off them and gave them fur coats. Right. First person to kill an animal, right. to cover you with That's blood. Right. That's right. We don't do a good job of, of finding love ourselves. But God order your steps. He's going to order your steps. And it's going to surprise you. You know why it's going to surprise you? Because you've already met the man. You've already met him. You just don't see him as that role. You've already met him. 
get ready for God to remove the scales from your eyes. And when you do, love will hit you like a hurricane cat five out of the island. It's going to be amazing. Come on, somebody give God a shout. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody give God a shout. Your son? Yes, he takes care of me. He's a well, lady, you don't need that no more. He needs a touch. Okay, I'll get to him. My God, just calm down. Son, her son, what do you think of this? It's amazing. Come here. This is her son right here. Tell them. I'm the son. I take care of her. I think about four years now. First time I've seen her done this in four years. talk to you so how does this make you feel what do you think about this I there's no way to describe it honestly it's, it's really hard to see your parent though you have to take care of them 
they're supposed to take care of you, but you have to take care of them. It's, it's pretty hard to do. And it's amazing to see her like this. There's no words to describe it. But what's it make you feel about Jesus? It, I can't describe him. He's, it's amazing. I don't know. I don't know. There's no words. I can't put on the words. <laughs> I don't know. That's who did this. Mm -hmm. Do you understand what you got to see tonight? Do you understand? Where's Dr. Gee at? Gee. Sean Gee. I got it, didn't I? It took three days, but I got it. This is amazing. And Denise, what do you think? Come here. What do you think of this? You're the doctor here. Beautiful. Huh? Beautiful. We should do more of this. <laughs> How many would come back if we did it again? Anybody? Thank you, Jesus. See, this anointing that's on her, it ain't going away anytime soon. It's not lifting. You had to put her on the toilet, is that true? Yeah. Your own mother, huh? Bathe her in there. Bathe her. Wow. Well, how old are you? I'm 17. Mm -hmm. What a way to conclude a meeting, huh? You couldn't script this any better. Now, here's what I want to ask you before we close. I hate to say this, but... What's going on, sir? I, hear, I see you, sir. Um, does this push you towards believing more? Amen. Yes. 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 Are you going to church somewhere tomorrow morning? Yes. What's your mother's name? Crystal. Crystal. How do you feel, Crystal? Great. <laughs> You've never seen her like this in how long? Four years. Four years. Yep. Will you touch him? Don't touch him. Do what? I want, can, can, I want him to have to touch a God. I want him to have to touch a God. Oh, Lord. She's after you. <laughs> she's a wild woman for Jesus now, I'll tell you what. you got a great heart. I like your heart. Thank you. Thank you. I like you. What's your plans? What do you want to do? Uh, whatever God wants me to do. What do you want to do? Tell me what you what would you like to do. Uh... Work on engines. Work on engines? Yeah. What kind of engines? Uh, small engines. So small engines. Dirt bikes, quads, ATVs, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. well, I'm glad you like to do that. I think he's got more for you than that. But. Mm -hmm. This stage, right now, the anointing is so strong on this stage. Come on, just put your hands. I, I'm just going to say one more prayer, but I want you to get forgiven tonight. I want you to get saved. I want you to get rededicated. I want you to get right with God tonight. Okay, and no messing around. I want you to get right with the Lord. Come on, see, i got to get realigned. I've seen too much. My eyes don't lie. I'm in a reality. God's taking me somewhere different. I'm leaving an old place. I'm getting into a new season. No mistakes. No mess up. I'm going to get it right this time. I'm never leaving go. I'm going where he goes. I'm going to do what he says. I'm following hard after God. My heart's been touched. It's been squeezed. And I believe tonight I'm going to be a new person. I give God my life again. I, give me, I get back the steering wheel. Take over, dear Jesus. I surrender to you on this night. In Jesus' name. Come on, give him 30 seconds of praise. Come on.
had to pick me up from the floor. I never could get up on my own. Look at you. <laughs> I didn't mean to steal the show. <laughs> Too late for that. <laughs> So do you know all these people? Uh-uh. We drove an hour to get here. <laughs> he did. Where are you from? Uh, we're just uh, north of St. John's. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't even tolerate noise. I had to wear oh. earplugs and headphones. Heal! <laughs> so, so... <laughs> I took a video of myself last night trying to do, I couldn't even stand on my tippy toe. I would shake and I couldn't do it. I can't do this. I can't do that. I couldn't do any of it. I would shake and I would collapse. Oh. <laughs> I couldn't do this. I couldn't, I couldn't do that. <laughs> Thankful, thankful for the doctors, Ooh. Denise and Jean, for opening up the healing yeah. center. Yeah. 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 <laughs> At some point, call them or write them, email them. Just tell them what these couple of days meant for you. Amen. Now uh, oh, I have to give. I don't even have an option. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's got to go to the car and get the money because I don't have it yet. <laughs> I can't not give. I'd be stealing. That's just wrong. <laughs> Bruce, you don't see many of this. No. That's perfect. I just... <laughs> this is your mom. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's seen me, I couldn't. There's so many things. I couldn't even do this. I couldn't hold my arms up. I couldn't sing. I didn't have the energy. The your diaphragm means energy. Well, you have energy now. I couldn't yeah. do it. <laughs> you have energy. That's the, that's the least of your issues at the moment. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. There's still a lot of you needing needing prayer. Um, where's Dr. Dr. Uh, Gee. <laughs> John Gee, yeah, John Gee. Um, you know, my heart's pulled, it really, really is. We have two big services tomorrow. I've got to be ready. I've got to be sharp for them. It's only fair. And uh, I can say this: the anointing goes with you. The lights go out. Meeting's over, but the anointing goes with you. And find your way to get to the meetings tomorrow. It's not far from here. It's not asking too much. How far is the, how far is the house of prayer? How, Twenty minutes. Give the route. Give a quick route. Down sixty nine. Sixty nine. Sixty nine east. Yeah, they're expecting a full house, so I would get there early. What time? Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. I'm going to say a closing prayer that I need to go and get reloaded for tomorrow, okay? You mind if I do that? Yeah. Put your hands up. It's been wonderful. It's been wonderful. I love all of you. Come on, stay close to Jesus. Forgive people. Yes. 
Stay out of all the theories. Yes. Stay off the wrong news channels. Yes. Yes. Quit absorbing the wrong stuff. Yes. Don't move left or right. Stay focused on what's true. The written word of God. The Bible says in Thessalonians, it's the more sure word of prophecy. It'll never leave you down. All your days, He'll be faithful. Come on, say, Holy Spirit. I've seen more than my fair share. I have enough to go on. To live for. And to preach about. I'm leaving here today. Fired up. Overflow. To tell of His wondrous love. I believe I'll never be the same. In Jesus' name. I'm no longer going to be bashful or afraid of people. I will stand and I will tell of His wondrous love. In Jesus' mighty name. Now give Him a thunderous praise.